jam dan aku kami sendiri di media di sini punya pesan saya dan aku punya dua puji ni at this we now deliver a petition here to the president to connection with payments for the agriculture and all contractors to have them receive payments they can go on completely you know since we haven't received payments somebody somebody issues that we have we do not have they had a uh, expenditure statement uh, of $95 million which they had applied for. Uh, out of that $95 million, they would have received um, $77 million, right? Uh, which we supposed to be paid uh, from that, and that was in August month. Uh, the remainder would have been in the new fiscal this financial year, uh, which was um, in September, October, they would have been in that out of years. We have not seen anything about that money again. What I understand that uh, our run came out with in, um, for 81 million dollars in July was in the name of the pay the contractors is that we have we are we have a budget of um, contractors and we have received any money since so we are just asking where is the money? Where is the money? Because the issue of goods did apply for the money and it's alleged also that they apply for more money again. Right, coming in this physical year, when we come to the end year, we only, um, I think it's eight contractors, you know, but we So thus far. So we have about 49 contractors here outside here still waiting. They did some audits, um, as you know, the two audits were done, and based on the audits, the contractors were paid, but again, you know, as from different constituencies, um, they belong to, and most of them came from the, uh, from Calparo, you know, uh, from Calparo area, Cabaquit, sorry, Jaimas, you can see my constituency. Most of the contractors belong to them. They are not following the pay in the people, you know. But audit, they, when, they, when, they, when they, the guys and them who are going to do your audit, before they leave the office, they're telling you what, what percentage you will be paid. Right? Before they even see the job. Right? They have to see the job yet and, and they then tell you that you get, you get 50%. That's when they leave leaving the office, they know where the site is, eh? because all the people that are supposed to be wants to know where the job is, they are going to go around And when she have books, they put in their own people and they actually need to go now and visit your job. We went, we went and visit all the jobs in the um, central, central audit. Um, those are the same auditors who did the, uh, uh, the sports and they accepted it but after the, the audit that was done by us. In fact, the assistant and the engineer uh, apparently acting, everybody acting as they did in Hollywood, um, they said that um, they have a lot of discrepancies where the, uh, the audit is concerned. So you have an engineering assistant, you have an acting engineer showing out that a, a, a central audit, which is a central audit is supposed to be a government document. That authorize that, that recommend that they defeat us. Well, as, as I said earlier on to yeah, we really we really wanted to know where the money is and we have talked to each one of the ministers, we have uh, have dialogue with them and nobody seems to take up this matter with trying to see the out of the assistance. They just leave us there and you know and, and, and as though nobody cares. So I, I think it was the, the fittest thing for us to do is to petition by the president and that's what we do here this afternoon. Hoping that something will be fixed. That's the only question. Any questions? No problem. Once again, what what we also have is the people who who did the audit also in October and some in October and first from the URP engineering division. Those two individuals recommend that the contractors be paid. For payments, right? Those two individuals, they, they are on suspension. They are on suspension with pay. Those two individuals. So right now, the people in URP are new people. They don't know where the projects are. The one who the projects, where you know where the projects are, they fire. So how are you going to really address a situation like this? So we are paying the ultimate price for the deficiencies of the Ministry of, the ministry of Works and the URP engineering division. Well, of course, you know, Ministry of Production, they initiated the, the, uh, the project. The Van Maraj would have signed up on it. Uh, the, the PS in the Ministry of, ministry of Production, they already signed up on it. So, we, we, have, we have a tug of war going on here between the contractors and the government. So, when 
Hodně kotel 50 kot, i tady je kotel 50 kot pro navčan. Hodně kotel 50 kot pro navčan, i tady je kotel a to je tady šel. Já jsem tam hodně vypadl, jsem tam i pěst, jestli jde, já tady je šopčan pro 50. To je leč, já nevím, kdo je vědět šopčan, kdo je vědět šopčan. To je městí kalit, kdo je vědět 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 vědět. So we wait and see what happens when, as we submit this to the, the president, hope that some, some good and somebody, you know, with PSA and uh, some aid and, uh, and attention to ensure that, you know, we receive the payments. And Danny Persan, JDR Construction Limited. Well, of course, you know, I, I will be blacklisted, so it, it, really, it, it really don't matter to me. But one thing, I, one thing I'm sure that I, I can tell you is that you know, I I am um, very concerned as what will happen to contractors. Uh, you know, this is an election year coming up. We, you know, I I wait and see what happens because some of these said projects were done in the shop owners' message. But fortunately for me, I I did my own work and it probably that that is my advice. I hope that you know somebody uh, come in and make a decision and 